what's up youtube today we will be making some 24 by 12 inch custom card magnets i use my hp design jet uh t630 to make these so this is just one additional stream of revenue that you can bring in by owning a y format printer it doesn't matter which one you have using this technique you can use this with any Y format printer to hold you up. We're gonna hop right into the video and I'll show you how I did it. So first things first, you're going to go to whatever design platform you use. Um, in this example, I'll be using Canva just because it's such a simple platform that I use often because of the fact that it's so easy to use and it's got so many design options available. I've already sent it to the customer to make sure that they are okay with the design that I've put together and they gave me the okay. So let's go ahead and print it. So here, all we're gonna do is resize the design and include both of the pictures on one sheet because it's gonna all be coming out of the printer at the same time. So I'm just gonna upload my design from my desktop. So I have this set on the, the width of 36 inches because that's the print size of my printer. And then I have it set on 24 inches tall because that is how long the actual um, magnet is. So all I'm doing is flipping it to a side. Like I said, this is 24 inches. So just bring it to where the little cursor there says 24 off and then duplicate it because that is the exact dimensions that you need it to be. Like I said, it's gonna be 24 inches tall and 12 inches wide in this case, because I have it flipped on this side. And you see, you got all this void space. So if you have another design that you're working on, um, you can go ahead and just slip it in there so that you don't waste this paper. So I'm gonna go off camera and just add some other stuff that I'm working on just so that I don't waste this paper. Cause like I said, I don't waste because you waste not, you want not. Anyway, so we're gonna go to our um, up top here where it's got file and then we're gonna go to print. So I have it already set up for something that I had fixed earlier today. So I'm just gonna go to manage custom sizes. I always leave it at 36 now, ever since I've learned that it's just easier because it'll set it um, in the center. So then for height, because I know that my design is um, 24 inches tall, I'm just gonna do So we're gonna bump it up to 25 inches tall. So it's gonna leave a little margin like you see there. And I'm gonna bump it up to 101% print size because I wanted to have just a little bit over. That's why on my design, I always try to leave a little bit of the edge where if it ends up getting cut off, it, it still serves its whole purpose as the signage to, to, you know, to advertise your business. So you're not losing on anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. Let me check which ink is low. So I'm actually gonna be printing with a lot of yellow and it's low right now. So hopefully um, I don't have to change it mid print, but if I do, it is what it is. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and print that and we'll pick back up as soon as that is out of the printer. So just like I said, my yellow ink was low. So it's not really okay. So you see, it did stop mid print, but that's okay because this printer is like really smart. So it stopped, but it's gonna allow me to take that cartridge out and we're gonna replace it. Just like that. And we're just gonna close the top. Make sure it's all the way shut. And it's gonna check everything. And once it verifies that it's genuine HP ink, it'll get right back to printing. So while um, that was printing, I had this big old um, Walmart box that I folded in half and then this really heavy box right here holding down the magnets, they do come rolled, so you wanna flatten them before you use them. So for this portion, you're going to wanna cut off all four of the edges. Believe me, it's gonna make it so much easier to center it. So you're gonna flip it over onto its design side and you'll have that white side exposed and center it exactly in the middle. Once you've done that, you'll see I had removed a little bit of the backing on the adhesive side. 
and I have that situated to where I'm just going to set it on right on top. So you see, I'm kind of unrolling it just to give it just a little bit. You don't ever want to expose too much adhesive because it will make a mess. So just make sure you have it aligned once again. And then once you find that center, you just set it down and you kind of just use your hand as a squeegee or you can use a squeegee. I actually have one. I just, for, for some reason, opted not to use it. But once you have it secure on that one side, you're going to flip it over and then flip over the entire design. Find your loose paper on the backing and then just pull and rub at the same time. So you're going to get some bubbles, which is completely normal, but I'll show you also how to get rid of those bubbles in just a second. Let's finish getting this backing off. So once you have the design all the way on, you're gonna go around with an X-Acto knife and just remove all of the edges of the design. It's gonna look clean on the other side. It kind of looks a little white on one side, but we're gonna ignore that. So like I said, about these bubbles, you're gonna have bubbles. There's no way to prevent it unless you're using a cold laminator press, which I do not own. So I just go around and I feel for bubbles and I use an X-Acto knife to pop them and then just rub them out with my finger. This works perfect for not having the proper tools but we use what we have available to us so i just go through and pop all those bubbles and i thought i had got the majority of them until i got outside and once i was in the sunlight i noticed that i missed a significant amount of bubbles so i did go back out there and fix that but for now i'm just getting as many as i can So like I said, I had saw a couple more bubbles. So I went through and just went and popped those because I don't like the way that they look in the sunlight. And I forgot to show y'all what kind of sealant I was using. So I'll put that in the description below. But I did just spray seal those real light mist. You don't want to put it on heavy because then you'll get like globs. All right. So it is five minutes after I sprayed them. They don't have that smell anymore. And they are ready to get packaged up for the customer. So all together, they took about an hour with printing and application. And I sell these for 55 plus tax. So they're ready to go to the customer. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. And if there's anything that you could think that you want to see me print or make with my HP T630, if you have any questions, if you're considering buying one, just ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. I'm no pro, but I most certainly have been using it for about two years now. So like I said, ask questions. But again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.